Hello, my name is Adolovskaya, and in this lab, I'm going to show you how hackers can launch DOS, denial of service attacks. As all of you do know, a denial of service attack is an attempt to make a machine or maybe a network resources unable to its legitimate users. The hackers or the script queries will send so many unlegitimate traffic that your server or web services cannot handle it anymore. Therefore, your legitimate users can't access the resources anymore. To be able to do that, I'm going to use a software called DOS HTTP. DOS HTTP is going to create a HTTP flooding. You can gain DOS HTTP from Socketsoft dot net website if you go to socketsoft.net website you can download the latest version of do or dos HTTP from the website and create a HTTP flooding attack to bring a computer or network resources down of course our intention is not to bring a computer or network down but as an ethical hacker or penetration tester, it's our aim to test our resources, networks, to, be, to check if they're available to handle such an attack. If you want to create this lab yourself, all that you need is two computers, doesn't have to be server, but for me, in this case, I'm using one Windows 8 PC, and one Windows Server 2012 PC. Uh, my Windows 8 PC is where I'm going to install my DOS HTTP software. To be able to do that, I'm logging to my computer first. And in the meantime, I'm going to go to my Windows Server 2012 as well. I'm going to log on to my Windows Server 2012 ser server as well and I'm going to install Wireshark. What is Wireshark? Wireshark is a network sniffing program which will allow me to see if there is anything, any attack comes to mo towards my server. To be able to download Wireshark, all what you have to do is go to Wireshark website you can use your favorite search engine or just go to wireshark.org click in download and select your version of operating system to launch the download for this I have already downloaded my software which is under my sniffing tools. I can come down, go to Wireshark here, double click into Wireshark, launch the installation, click next, read the terms and conditions. If you agree, press I agree. In this case, I do agree. Select the components to install. Select the tools to install. Make sure you install Windows Win PCAP. And if you need more information about Win PCAP, please have a look there, as we are not covering in this lab the details of Win PCAP. The installation should not take more than a minute. It will ask you if you want to run the program Win PCAP. I say yes. And the installation will continue. Once you're done, click next. You can just run Wireshark. When you run Wireshark, the only thing which you need for this lab is make sure you go to the interface list or you can just select it from here as well. Make sure you select your interface 
where Wireshark can sniff your network and click in start. This will start the sniffing. As you can see at the moment, there is no packet going on. Now we're switching back to our Windows 8 PC. By the way, Wireshark is started to load here. Let's switch to Windows 8. Let's install our software, the DOS HTTP. My software is under DOS attack, tools, and here's the install. Just click run. The UAC will pop out. Just uh, say it's safe. Click next after reading the license agreement. Agree with it if you do. If not, please cancel and move out. Select the destination folder. If you want, you can create a desktop shortcut. Launch the software once it's been done. I just create a shortcut straight here. Please go ahead and double click on it. And again, it tells you that they are not liable of any attack you launch via the software and you promise the software vendor that you are only going to use it for testing purposes. Once you're there, it will go ahead and do some live checking on the website. If there is any new version there, if it is, it's going to pop out and ask you to download. If it isn't, it's going to ask you to enter your serial number. If you don't have a serial number, you can do what I'm doing here. Move on with the trial version. And here we go. That's the software. And all that you have to do is enter your target URL. If you know the URL, if not, you can put the IP address. In this case, I'm going to put my IP address, my server's IP address, which is 10.10.10.12. Uh, .10 you can select a compatible user agent. You can create a socket that you want to run. As this is a trial version, it will only limit by 10,000 sockets. Uh, you can just create a continuous or, uh, you know, depending on the number that you want to uh, select. You can always verify the URL. Basically, it's going to run a ping test at the background. As you can see, it's been successful. So, start flooding. As you can see, it's warning here. It said, you know what? This is not a full version. As a result, I can only allow 10,000 requests per second. No problem. Please go ahead. And as you can see, the packet has started to flood. So, at the moment, my 7012 PC is getting lots of requests from my Windows 8 computer. And very shortly, you will see that um, this is going to sniff the environment. Wireshark is going to tell me what is going on. And hopefully, it's going to tell me the resources of the attack as well. And here we go. It started to register. As you can see, at the moment, it's not big. Windows can easily handle that. I started to receive some attacks from my 10.10.80 PC. Let me just pause it here so you can see it. Uh, it is sending lots of packages through and trying to flood my server. Let's think this is a web server. Let's think this is a full version of software. You can easily bring my web services down. Is it the only software which you can use? No. You can use, for example, HPing version 3 or many other software which is available in the internet. But with this demonstration, I aim to show you how you can launch uh, or how you can test a DOS attack against your computers. As a recap, again, uh, you saw we needed Wireshark, we needed DOS HTTP flooding software, and we needed two operating systems to be able to test our environment. I hope this demonstration gave you an idea how a DOS attack can be launched, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, 
and I'm looking forward to see you in a new video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.